So now something totally different. Yeah. You know, everybody wants to follow up some beautiful afternoons with some John Cage, right? Yeah. 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 Natural progression. So, um, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, so, you know, Maura asked me, hey, do you want to do a solo on this show? I said, you know, yeah, I got a piece. Um, this is a piece that's called Sonata for Solo Clarinet by John Cage. Um, if you are familiar with John Cage's music or have ever, ever experienced it in its many different forms and many guises, um, I can almost guarantee that this will be very, very different from your first page. This piece was written in 1933. September 3rd and September 5th, 1933. Very early. It's possibly Cage Opus 1. This is when he was living in Los Angeles studying with um, Arnold Schoenberg. So it uh, has quite a different um, approach than a lot of his other stuff. Um, but you know, when Mar asked, I thought I'd play it because I don't know if you know, there was this big Cage event last week, the Cage oh. Music Circus that happened. Um, and uh, so it was, you know, it was quite a circus. There was like a zillion things happening at the same time. And I played this piece, um, but it was in a huge hangar with about four other things happening at the same time. I don't know that anybody really heard it. I know this because I couldn't hear it, and I was playing. It. So, so I thought, okay, well, I'll, you know, I'll bring it out and I'll, I'll play it for you guys. So, um, yeah, written in 1933. Um, uh, I, along with I know some other people in this room, uh, had the great pleasure and honor to meet John Cage when I was younger and I was a grad student. Um, he came to my school and I worked with him on this piece. And um, he was a really amazing person. Um, all I'll say is that I didn't, you know, I didn't know a lot about him before and I didn't really know what to expect, but just after meeting him, um, and not just meeting him, but like just being in his presence, hearing him speak, just understanding how he thinks the kind of person he was, then everything he did after that started to make a lot of sense. It comes from a very, very deep place, what he does. So uh, but this is a super early piece. Um, and you know, even though he was studying with Schoenberg and it's very highly notated and, uh, and, and very deterministic in ways, uh, still there's a little bit of what Cage was gonna come to later. It's very precisely notated in terms of its rhythms, in terms of its pitches. Um, but there are no dynamics written in and there are no articulations written in. That he left up to the performer. So, okay, so now it's in three movements, okay? Here we go, three short movements. Thank <laughs> you. 